Well, there is so much to do in the Kansas City metropolitan area, but sometimes the best things in life are free. Agreed. Kristen DeVille takes a look at why our parks are another reason we're proud to call Kansas City home. From large, sprawling community parks to small gems tucked in neighborhoods, Kansas City has a lot to offer. One of the largest, Shawnee Mission Park, just west of 435. Visitors can see all kinds of wildlife, most notably deer and birds. They can walk, run, bike, even kayak. I love Shawnee Mission Park. It's really nice. It has plenty of stuff to do. For those who want to give boating a try, the marina rents canoes, paddle boats, and single-person kayaks for $6 a half hour. There's Antioch Park, tucked back off busy streets, not far from I-35 and Shawnee Mission Parkway. It's one many on the Kansas side visit. I like all of this. Some for generations. I remember climbing on the old houses and what a great time it was because this is the only place where you could do that. There's the small western village, Dodge Town, a play area, and summer camps for kids. And it's not too late to sign up. Black Bob Park out in Olathe just got a brand new water park. Complete with lazy river and water slide. Everybody in the area has been excited to try it out. You can't talk about parks without mentioning the North Side's Penguin Park. Currently closed under construction, you can still see the draw. Giant animals made into slides and jungle gyms, penguins, elephants, even kangaroos. We go to the park a lot, but they like this one because it's so big and it um, accommodates different age groups. This park is expected to reopen later this summer. And a lesser known, newer park is one called Waterfall Park at Independence. I just like it here. I just think it's really pretty, you know, it's, and the kids like it also. 18 acres with a small lake, walking trails, and a scenic backdrop of a waterfall. Krista Dubill, NBC Action News.